What's up everybody, Will Borza here, the LA Recordist. It's the Analog Vlog, it's a vlog. Analog. <laughs> ah, it gets me. Okay, so uh, last night I was doing that uh, No Faders Mix Challenge, which was really cool. I actually enjoyed the exercise. Now, I would never, I think I mentioned before, I'm mentioning it again, I would never do that on a professional project that someone's paying me to do, but it is good practice so that you can do those professional projects better when they come around. Um, now, I just wanted to show you uh, a sort of compare and contrast of the official, it was out there, I, re I mixed it two years ago mix. Um, I'll link to that so you can listen to it. And the mix that I did last night. I took about two hours on it and I just came back just now to do one thing to it. I was thinking about it all day and all night. It was sort of playing in my head, this new mix that I did, and I was like, you know what? The snare drum just is not hitting the way I want it to hit. So I have one little tool that I love to use uh, to really make things pop, and it may seem counterintuitive if you're not sort of familiar with um, the idea of distortion being your friend. Uh, <laughs> The, in, in Pro Tools, one of the stock plugins is called Lo-Fi, and it is a distortion plugin. It has a little bit of distortion saturation. You can also do some weird, crazy 8-bit stuff with it as well, uh, some noise stuff. But really, that distortion knob in that plugin, just a little tiny smidgen of it, really goes a long way to bringing out harmonics and crazy stuff, and it really... If you're having trouble with anything cutting through the mix before slapping another compressor on it or before turning up, you know, this or that or EQing or whatever, just try Pro Tools' uh, Lo-Fi plugin. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a really short vlog. It's, it's late and I'm tired, but uh, I did that one fix on the snare drum. I'm going to play um, the mix. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and forth between the snare drum distorted and the snare drum not distorted and you'll see on the screen which is which uh... and and i think well i know for a fact that you'll hear the difference it's it's night and day um, the snare drum is a little bit lost in in the first mix the one that i did last night and i put that distortion thing on it today and it's like oh there's the snare drum it's perfect um, otherwise you know comparing the mix that i did last night in two hours to the mix that i did uh, over the course of a week, two years ago, I, I feel like they're comparable. They're definitely different. There's, you know, spatially, I place things differently. Um, the one two years ago, I, I think, you know, I, I did spend more time on it, and, and I think at the end of the day, blind test, I would pick the one two years ago. It looks like, it feels like, it sounds like you, I put more care into it. Wish I did. Uh, this is a test. This is one that I did yesterday. But anyway, um, at this point, I'm just rambling. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy this little sample and then click the link and hear the original. Peace. <laughs>